Alright, today I'm going to show you how to culture live baby brine shrimp um, from decapsulated brine shrimp eggs for use in feeding larval fish and other um, small species of animals. <clears throat> I feed baby jellyfish with this because it's um, very nutritious and um, it's small enough that they can latch onto it and easily feed off of it. You can also feed it to baby seahorses, um, small fry, all sorts of things. It comes in very um, handy when you're culturing things. But um, So what you're going to need for this is a bottle of decapsulated hatching brine shrimp eggs. Make sure that it's hatching because a lot of um, the eggs available are not hatching. So I got this from Aquaculture and Nursery Farms off um, offline. Got it off eBay. But um, as you can see it says decapsulated brine shrimp eggs, hatching, refrigerate, but um, scroll it around to make sure you get all the eggs in suspension. And um, you measure it with this cap here, is what I usually measure it with. There's about 100 servings in here. But um, you're also going to need a glass cup or container. It needs to be glass because um, you'll need light for this as well. Um, you can use a beaker if you wanted to, or even a brine shrimp hatchery container. I just like using a glass cup because my beakers are used for other things and they may contain trace amounts of chemicals that could possibly um, hurt my brine shrimp or whatever I'm feeding them to. So, a glass cup. You're going to need a light source. I've got my bench light here. And you're also going to need an air pump. So I've got my air pump here with a tube and then a straight tube. I made the straight tube out of cutting a pipette down. That's just how I made it. You can use a glass tube if you wanted to, or just plastic tube. But, um, first we're going to take these brine shrimp eggs here. Make sure you swirl them around real good. And pour them into the cap. You can use about one serving of these. Like I said, there's about a hundred servings of these. And it produces a good amount of brine shrimp, actually. See, there's a good amount of eggs in there. And the next step is to get some salt water. I'll be right back with the salt water. Alright, so I've gotten the salt water here. I added about three fourths of a cup full of salt water. And I put it in a spot where there's plenty of light. Alright, final step here. I'm going to take your bubble tube and put it in there. I'm going to put some tape on that eventually. But for now, it's alright. Um, the tape will help secure that bubble tube down. And just cast your bubble tube. You want to get this egg circulating so they don't stick to the bottom. And you just fiddle with it until all your eggs are being suspended. And um, in 24 to 36 hours, they will all hatch. And you'll have your baby branch. Um, as far as collection goes, you can use light to collect them because they go to the um, closest and strongest source of light. So, um, they'll all gather probably around right there. And you can just suck them up with a uh, pipette like that. Um, and, if you really wanted to, you can also hatch them straight out in your tank. You don't even have to do this, you can just take the eggs and dump a serving into your tank in the hatch. <clears throat> I do that sometimes with my main tank. Um, my jellyfish do like that. Um, however, it is a little um, messy. I mean, it gets pollutants in your tank from the rotting brine shrimp. But it, um, it works pretty well. And as long as you have strong filtration, it's not to worry about. So, put the camera down and put some tape on there. got the tape on here, and that should help keep most of these brine shrimp in suspension. Just put that, just that little bit there. Alright. And that's all you need to hatch baby brine shrimp. 
Um, these are decapsulated, so you don't even have to worry about the eggshells. Um, the hard eggshells can produce um, a ton of pollutants in your tank, and they can also introduce hydroids and bacteria into your tank that you don't want. Um, so decapsulated brine shrimps will help you keep your tank cleaner since they're considered sterile, since they've been bleached, to remove the eggshell, and um, you don't even have to worry about the eggshell. Um, jellyfish cannot eat the hard eggshell because it'll get stuck in their bill and eventually rot a hole through it, and that can become problematic. So you, normally you'd have to separate all the eggshells out, and that's really hard to do. So I like buying decapsulated brine shrimp eggs. It just takes all the problems away.